hi guys what's going on welcome back to this brand new android how to tutorial and today in this video we are going to create a brand new android wallpaper application so this is going to be a complete video tutorial on this well, developing an android wallpaper application so in our application we will be having a lot of wallpapers and also we have the option to set the wallpaper as usual and also there will be another button to save the wallpaper in, into the android device and also there will be the options like just using a navigation drawer and just picking the uh, the category of the wallpaper and maybe like uh, things like that and also most notable point is that we'll be also adding some decent looking AdMob ads in our Android app so almost 80 percentage of this development is actually discussed in my Android development course which you can also watch and in this video we are going to fully develop the app so in the first video what we are going to do is that we are going to have the introduction to this development also creating a project for the wallpaper app and also we will be using an empty activity for this purpose so what I'm going to do is that I'm selecting this start a new Android studio project now just giving my Android app name as something like my wallpaper or yeah sweet wallpaper if you want we can also give it as pro so it is going to get more user attention so now just click on this next and now currently the API is 16 which has 99.2 devices percentage devices are available in so selecting that and clicking on the next now empty activity is much better to begin a Android app because it's gonna take a little amount of RAM and thereby we can reduce the uh, what do we say uh, the loading of the Android app so now I'm selecting this empty activity click on the next and now I'm not actually changing this main activity so just clicking the finish and now the gradle will be going to get updated and also it will be going to build every project and uh, the structure of the project so we have to wait a couple moments so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to skip this part okay now our project has been almost completed and in the meantime I just want to say guys that this tutorial series is one of the most requested video tutorials in my channel and uh, that's the only reason why I just want to make this video so if you guys have any kind of doubts then you can ask in the comment section below also if you have any suggestion to create a new videos on then do let me know through the comment section below now our project has been completed let's go to the activity underscore main.xml so in the first video we are going to design the layout of the android wallpaper app so i'm just going to this activity underscore main.xml okay now what i have to do the next thing is that first off changing this constrainer layer into relative layer and now removing this text view oops so in this part we're gonna just create a some of the items we'll be adding the items that we require and in the next video if possible we'll be just customizing it maybe I will create a, a separate video on customizing this layer so right now we just need a, a grid view so I'm actually using a grid view for this purpose because grid view can hold a lot of images at a single time so using a grid view now we have a grid view now what I have to do is that I have to add a couple more lines into it so first one is Android then vertical spacing that is I just want to leave it as one and next is the column width that is maybe like 100 dp and the next thing is that we have to add the number of number of columns that is out of fit then the stretch more that is spacing width yeah now finally we have to add the ID that is the my grid view grid view okay now we have almost done pressing the control alt L to rearrange the codes now we have that now what we have to do the next thing is that I'm, I'm just planning of adding a image view at the top just before this grid view and maybe at this position also the image view is actually going to display the current wallpaper uh, even e even if it is not from this grid view items so the user can easily find that which one is actually the current wallpaper and whenever the user just click on any of the image from this item 
then it will be at the instantly it will be updating this image view with new wallpaper okay so without being said what we have to do the next thing is that we don't actually have to add a button and maybe that can be done after just completing the basic part so just simply showing the grid view so that is grid view so we actually didn't discuss about the grid view inside the android development course it will be almost similar to the list view we have to just create a adapter for the grid view so simply adding my grid view equal to then find view by id or dot id dot my grid view so the first thing is first we have to just add the permission so use permission that is to set wallpaper yeah set wallpaper okay now we have done and uh, opening the drawable so i have some of the images just copying that so i just copied the images now going back to the android studio pasting it inside the drawable folder so if you want we can also create a new then drawable folder inside the drawable folder but i'm not going to do that simply pasting it directly inside the drawable so i have the drawable selecting that and that's it now i have 98 images and uh, maybe like we will be adding more images in the future so what we have to do the next thing is that we have to just create a array to get the images so that is integer then just leaving it as blank then giving a name like my image array then equal to just opening the curly braces now we have to add each and every wallpapers that is android r dot drawable dot thumb one comma then r dot drawable dot thumb two okay now finally just closing there and maybe that's for this tutorial so we have just added the reference for this grid view inside the one create method also now we have this integer for loading the images and uh, now yeah that's it so in the next video we will be adding some more lines inside the main activity and we'll be playing around the items inside it maybe like just moving it into this part which is our usual area for just initializing all the widgets and all the things that is just about this one create method so anyway that's for this tutorial and the next video we'll be adding much more lines and maybe like we'll be creating a adapter for this grid view and uh, just getting all the images into this grid view and also keep your support by hitting that like button and as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video peace out